Where's Eric? How would I know? You're his friend. And you're his girlfriend, remember? Brad, please, he's not answering any of my texts. I don't know, he mentioned something about mowing the lawn with his dad. His dad? Yeah. <sighs> what? Mrs. Robinson. Katie, I'm about to begin our class. I, I don't care. Excuse me? I don't know who to tell or who to call, but um, Eric's in trouble. Trouble? Okay, um, just let me finish this lesson and then we can- No. If you're gonna help me, I need you to do it right now. Not in 10 minutes, not, not when you're done with this lesson, not when you're done grading papers. I need you right now. Okay. Class? Uh, there's been a situation in the teacher's lounge, so use this time for silent reading. Come on. Where's his house? It's over there. Oh my god, I see him. Where? Right there, sitting on his doorstep. Oh my god. I need you to wait in your car. I'm not just gonna leave you. If something happens, I need you to be ready to drive us away from here. Please be careful. I will. Eric? Katie? Hey. How are you? Mrs. Robinson drove me here. How? I made her. <laughs> are you okay? Miss, I need you to stand away from him. Who's it's the cops? They said I should be left completely alone. <laughs> I think they're scared of me. Where is he? He's gone. We were mowing the lawn together. Everything was fine at first. And then, uh, my mom came out and he started yelling at her and she started yelling back and he, I mean, he's trying to kill her. Who's gonna kill her? And I wasn't thinking. It all happened so fast. And suddenly I just threw him to the ground and I took the lawnmower and I, uh, ran him over. Good. I know I should be sad, but I'm just relieved. I'm not sad. I'm not sad. You're not sad. We're not sad. Don't be sad. I love you. I love you too. You're just saying that because I got you out of English class. 